Okay, so here we have the same setup. A few minutes later, the core is still really warm, so I'm not going to run this for very long, but I've just realised, having put this into the circuit in place of the lamp, that really makes a difference. So I've got the spark gap set up a little bit closer. So, as you can see, I've got the the bulb in the circuit. And let's crank this up. So we've got the spark gap going. Okay, so it's 1024. There we go. Spark gap's coming quite nicely. And let's just get this. Okay. So we've got this between four something and eight something kilohertz. With the bulb in the circuit. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of presto change out. So 1024, 1025-ish. Let's turn that off. And we'll take the bulb out of the circuit. Let's connect the induction stove okay so now blah, 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 follow the wire we've got the induction stove coil set up instead of the lamp the lamps not connected now so let's go back, get this back up to the same. Thing. But now, kilohertz have shot up quite substantially to well, anywhere between nine and twenty-two kilohertz. On similar power to the motor. Let's whack it up a little bit more. And that substantially jumped up almost ten times. There we go. So, I don't know why that's happening. Um, any thoughts, please? That would be a really really handy. I put my hand on that. Can't really feel anything. So the spark gap's really humming now. That's a phenomenal frequency coming out of that thing. I don't know why there's such a difference between having the lamp in and having the induction coil in. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but there's 
eight of these ribs coming out from the center. Now on the underneath of this coil, there are, they look like ferrite magnets. Let's just turn that off. There we go. They look like ferrite magnets, but they're actually not magnetic. So on the, on the underneath of these, there's these little bars of, that are apparently uh, magnetizable material. And um, so I don't know whether that's the same as Gerard's setup or, or whether it's a, a different style of um, induction coil, but it's really interesting to see that when you put the lamp in, or the bulb in, you get a certain frequency at the spark gap, and when you have the induction coil well, the induction stove coil in it multiplies the frequency by about ten times. What on earth is going on there? Okay, there's the setup again. Uh, thank you very much, and I really appreciate your input. Cheers. Bye bye.